I'm sitting here tonight in my living room watching a documentary on the life of Isaac Newton. Of course, the 17th century greatest physicist and genius that the world has ever known, the inventor of modern physics and mathematics and um, just so inspiring. But while doing that, I was sitting here on the sofa with my legs crossed, enjoying the program, and with my legs crossed, I was just kind of pressing on my knee like this. I was watching my hand having to push, oh, push, push, push. And then all the pressure, right, in my hand to push on it to get it to respond. And then I just took my finger like that and then went, whoop, whoop, whoop. Did a little quick pull, and the knee just boom goes right over real quickly. Whoa, two, just a tiny little flip, a pull, and then I went back to pushing. Ugh, ugh, all the pressure on my arm and my finger, and the straightening out of my finger. Oh, and then I curve my finger, I curve my wrist, and I just go. You see that instantaneous impulsive force that comes from the, the grab, from the pull, is so instantaneously powerful with such little contact time that it just makes the leg go, whoa, and it goes right over. Well, what about the piano? Everybody in the world is pushing on the key and they're pressing on the key and their fingers under pressure and they're arm is under pressure and oh and it takes so long to get there and if they would just kind of grab the and go whoop to the key the key would just boom and the hammer would just sing and they would 99.9 percent .9 of the time they would just be in the air free as a bird and then boo boo as opposed to ah oh what a waste of time and effort, just instead of boop, whoop, whoop. Have I made my case? Thank you, Isaac Newton, for your great inspiration.